All right, let's talk about my huge rack. Because I'm going to sell you on the rack life. Thug life? No, no, no. Rack life. I bought this because this is the room. And all the equipment used to be there. And now I want to put all of my equipment, all of it, every amp, DAC, my computer, you name it, is going to go in this rack. Now the actual frame costs $133 prime shipped. $133 prime shipped. Now, will the wife accept this? Is this a WAF, high WAF product? Hell no. Hell no, they're not going to accept this. Maybe if you had really nice bookshelves that came out, you could slide this bitch in there. They get away with it. But uh, if you're a college student uh, or a bachelor and you want awesome, let me just wire up my surround sound. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm unwiring it, by the way. Oh, the sub just went nuclear. Now, the rack doesn't come with a power strip. I had to buy this power strip. We'll come back to you later. I had to buy this power strip. It's a 16 outlet, and I'm pretty sure I got to fit the 24. But uh, it was not cheap. It was a surge protector trip light. It's about 60 bucks. And then I bought these. These are two foot and these are mono price special. I could not find them this cheap on Amazon. Had to go mono price. And I bought 10 of them because I figure that's going to be enough. Now, what can you, why would you buy this? Why would you buy this? What could you do with it? Well, if you have rack monk gear, like the Behringer here, or like this task cam, or you buy one of these project boxes, which is actually really cheap, you put it together. You could just slap it on in there. You got to get the special cage nuts. Uh, these are a combination of locking click nut. So you see these squares here. These just get bammed in there. And then it comes with these. If you got nice ones, these are the Star Treks. These are a uh, either square head or very, very large screw head. And then a giant metal cup washer and then a nice plastic washer to keep your stuff from getting damaged and it just threads in there and you're done. This is a 42U rack. Now a U is a measurement of height that's standardized. And every one of these little divots, you can see that every third hole is a divot. That represents one U and you would put a piece of equipment there. If it's one U, if it's two U, you'd take up six of these slots. This is like a, uh, this is a three U cover. This is a two U, this is a four U. And I got another cover up there. Now the problem with when you go start going rack mount, yeah, it's only $133. That's cheap for something that stands 80 inches tall and has caster wheels. And from the profile, it looks so damn sexy. Problem with going rack mount is if you don't have a bunch of rack mount gear, if everything you own is a rack mount, if you're not a pro DJ or psychopath, you see you have to buy accessories. I've spent more on accessories for this rack than I could have ever spent on the rack. Here, example, nave point shelves, steel, 2U, they'll hold like 60 pounds or 50 pounds each, pop in there, they didn't come with the right screws, I had to order the correct cage nut screws, this is $30 for this shelf. And I of course ordered two shelves and then a larger Star Trek shelf in case my computer did not fit in the smaller shelf, that was 40 bucks. Now we got these front plates. You're looking at like $17 or $18 a piece. The smaller ones are less, $12 a piece. I got two smaller ones, two bigger ones. Okay. Now over here, what you can't see is a drawer. It's a $60 drawer. A $60 drawer. And I pulled it out because I'm going to end up uh, leaning that thing down to do work on it. But I'm probably going to end up ordering another drawer because it's super useful to have all your accessories here. Especially if I'm putting my computer on a shelf over here. And now I've got to worry about what order. Because this Tascam gets hot, stays hot. The Behringer actually doesn't get hot. If I put the Spec 2 right there, which needs to be repaired, so I may or may not throw the Spec 2 on the shelf. Spec 2 gets hot, but it's super deep, and it's super heavy. It's like 67 pounds. So now the Spec 2's got to go down. It's going to the shelf. Do I put the computer? Do I even need this? This is just a project box that doesn't do anything. I just keep things in it. So now it's a matter of organization. It's a matter of looks. And here's the kicker. 
I bought this really for security. See, if someone breaks in and says, I'm going to steal some stuff. If it's just sitting here, they could take it. If it's all rack mount, unless they come and start unscrewing things, they have to take the whole thing. It's on wheels, so that's a detriment. But that's a concrete wall, and I could very easily put a lag anchor in there and just tether it. So someone's going to have to remove the tether and then roll out my entire rack mount. Am I disconnected? I could push this around the house now. If you ever saw 2001 A Space Odyssey, you'll see one of these makes an appearance. Monkeys throw you know, bones and stuff at it. It's pretty gay. But uh, this is the manliest thing you could do with your equipment. And for how cheap it is and for the versatility and how much you could fit, I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, this power strip actually had like a really insanely long 15-foot cord, so I just looped it around the leg and left this much out, which gives me enough to pull it away from the wall. So, what I'm going to do now is go into this drawer, look for my tool. There it is. The cheap ones that don't have washers or anything cool, just unscrew. And you can just take things off and put them on and rearrange. Now, what I'm probably going to do, in fact, I'm going to do it right now because I don't want to make this review a million hours long. Because it's just a rack, people. It's just a rack. It's just a beautiful rack, a little rack. It's magnetic, too. I mean, I'm planning on, see these drill holes? I'm not sure what there's a specific purpose for those, but I'm going to put headphone hooks all the way down. And it's going to sit here, I'm just going to hook my headphones on everything. Every, I think those are every 10 inches. Did I mention it has wheels? And you can just roll it out and do wiring. I got this nice vented one, which probably doesn't need to be here. I mean, unless I put fans to blow the heat back. Yeah, I'm now going to rearrange. Are these nice and loose? Good. Rearrange this entire rack to accommodate for my computer. And once my computer is on there, nave point. Nave point. Then I could actually begin finalizing the setup of this thing. What I put these down. Oh, I also I held this on. I did not glue this on or screw it on. This is the what's it called? A Velcro. Not the Velcro. The 3M dual lock. Three three inch pieces hold it on till the end of days. Now. If you're in a sound environment, a, like a surround sound system environment with his audio, this is very hollow and metal. And you may want to uh, fill these voids with some sort of foam. I was actually considering getting the spray foam, spray foam that they have, bagging it and just filling the entire frame. And actually, I stand here before you wondering how to do speakers like that, multiple speaker demos. Because right now I got a stand, I got another stand, and if a third pair of speakers comes along, I gotta buy another set of stands, and that's ridiculous. So I was thinking about buying another two of these, two more of them, getting some shorty shelves, they sell 10 inch shelves, and I would just put one here, put one there, put some shelves in, I could stack speakers, I can go multiple levels of speakers, I could do all sorts of, I could put a sub down there, I could put a amplifier for the whole rack of speakers, I could go mono blocks, I mean it would just, blah. my mind is blown, I'm a real industrial guy, I'm a guy that likes exposed chrome fittings and things like that, so again, wife will not approve of this, but if you're in college, you want to look cool, Rack it all. Rack everything. Rack your computer, cable box, printer. You could just, 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 as long as you could afford the accessories, the shelves and stuff, for about $30 a piece of shelves, $60 a piece for drawer. Should I get one for my room to keep my clothes in? It would cost a fortune in drawers. A fortune. But look at it. And it does disassemble. It does disassemble into just two legs, and then you could take this frame and just throw it in the back of a pickup truck. Done. Basically what I'm saying is I love this. I love my rack. I love my big rack. 
And the easiest way to deal with my rack, I'm going to do this on camera. That pile of headphones. Do not forget that tool. Let me show you how I deal with my rack here. Because it can be very hard, like this Behringer amp, it is like 28 pounds. So to hold it there and then try to thread things in is a real pain. Like literally a pain. Physicality of pain. So what I did, I don't know if I've gotten good enough at this. Let's give it another few inches. No. Another, another like more inches. Get those casters rolled backwards. Then it's just down. And you're just holding. Now, if you have a million pounds of stuff in your rack, this is going to be much harder. Look how easy that is to work on now. Now, if I unscrew things, I could just slide them up and down, screw them in. I feel bad for that pillow. Perfect. All right. So now that I've got it like this, I can unscrew everything and I could just slide things around, move those cage nuts and deal with it. And then the fun part comes when you have to stand this bitch back up. And I recommend having a second person here to do that. But yeah, I mean, this is awesome. This is everything. I could fit all the equipment in this room, all the amps and stacks and everything, computer, all on this. I've even got a short, shorty little shelf that I'm going to put down here. It's going to hold my hard drive rack so that it can't fall very far. Got super nice grease casters. Haven't had any worries about it falling over. Do it. Do it. Do it. You know you've always wanted to go rack mount. And now you can.